Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, a treat especial. No, no, for real this time. No hyperbole. We have a Makita versus Fajita. A knockoff Makita what takes the same batteries. See if we can't properly fuck you later. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Little bit of smoke there, no fire. Busted the tor. Oh, the smell. Mm. It even comes with the genuine. Oh, theft deterrent <laughs> teal. Fa, jai, ta. Just so I can tell the two apart, they're they're quite close. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is fan fucking tastic. Because if you're looking for a cheap tool. You want one what's got proper batteries. That's the whole, I mean, you gotta get good batteries. You go to the Hazard Fart or you go to the Blows or the, and you want a cheap tool like a Ryobi. You don't care what you, you, know, you don't care about impressing the ladies auxiliary with your Milwaukee tools. Why would you not just go and buy a 30 doll hair one from the usual scumbags if in, it's remotely fucking good at all? And then if it, if it walks away, it's but thirty dollars, you know. I <laughs> said, yeah, you know. That's fucking loud. I'm lasting quite a bit longer than I thought. I got to get some ear hole pluggers. Something getting smoky here. Rubbery smoke smell. If there's a glare, just tilt your head. I can't see either. Ah. Well, the operation was successful. Unfortunately, the patient didn't survive. She go. Dead, did. Oh! It lives on. Mightn't be that the battery is the, oh, that's interesting too. This one's going through far more power. No, she's still spinning, but I think she's good and proper, fuckers. There's no torque at all to her. This guy's still running reasonably good. We'll do the old drop test here. A short walk off a long pier routine. Now look up, way up. We're on our way to the castle. I'll hurry in first to go in the back door and let the drawbridge down. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Oh, <laughs> that didn't last very long. I don't know, that was just the socket fucked off on us. Never to be heard from again. 12 foot drop test the second. You're intact. No visible damage to the tool. Little crack here in the casement of the cheapo battery. La drop a spooge brand. J. Test the three. Ollie McTwist with a show us your tits. That'll whip out my stunt cock here. Extendo version. Ugh. The El Cheapo battery clearly didn't fare too well, but that's why before we bought them. But the tool itself, other than this little gland bushing popping off, I think she's okay. This come to me not by chance, but by way of one of them ungodly stinky boxes from Beyond the Beyonds. I found out that it's, it's the adhesive in that brown cello tape that they use that stinks so to high heaven, but shipping scenes pretty reasonable 
16 cents, <laughs> almost like it's subsidized by Chinese taxpayers. Let's look at the specs here. Suitable for 18V battery. Color black and blue, red, red all over. What's black and blue and red all over? A newspaper, not so much anymore. No charging speed, apparently when it's on the charger, she'll do 4,000 ripples. Impact frequency, 4,000. Maximum torque, 520 Newton meters. I, I suspect that's a little overstated. Stepless speed charge switch, powerful multi-purpose super electric key. No idea what the fuck that is. Tungsten steel shaft, high hardness and wear resistance. Yeah, that is a good steel shaft. You can see it was getting hammered on there pretty good and no chunks out of her and barely rolled over. Suitable for construction sites, maintenance and carpentry, carpentry, pardon me. The brushless motor does not generate sparks during operation and is not used. Oh, that's good that it's not used. Error, no, error due to manual measurement. Before you quote, please make sure you don't mind. I assure I don't mind. Color may vary depending on the screen, and please understand. All right, okay, well, off we go to confirm the specs. <laughs> Much like his namesake, the old Vegeta. Tough as an old boot. She took one off the back, and that uh, butylene overmolding did its job. It absorbed all the energy. It, it cut it a little bit, but that's what it's there for. It's cooling down. No stank to her, must have just been flashing off the, uh, no burning stank of insulation, just flashing off the volatile. Still working. It's even got an additional feature. The real one doesn't, is that it shows you, and this is fan-fucking-tastic, it shows you the battery chooch. This guy doesn't, you gotta hit the, well, in this case, yeah, you gotta hit the battery. There you go. Now there is some, and there's some sort of, this looks like the battery charge, and then this, oh, this, chicken scratch, one, two, and three, speed control, looks like there's only two speeds, we must have fried something, and then uh, something bustamicated in there, unless that's some sort of universal jointery. It's not a fault, it's a feature type deal. I don't know what this is supposed to be, some sort of polycarbonate plastic protector. Factory delete that. Judging by the look of her, she's had a hot supper. That grease isn't cooked though, so not that, uh, not that terrible. Oh yeah, busted. Just held together by the uh, outer rubber. Go fucking on. You're not going to believe this. This is a $30 tool. It's a brushless motor. We got ourselves a unicorn here, boys. We stumbled into a secret garden and found a horny horse. Look at the state of the mold making. This is far better, far, far better than uh, the Barsh from Malaysia. No expense spared on the glass fiber, of course. Glass fiber is cheap, but it's real expensive because it wears out the molds. If you look at that break in there and just have a, a listen. This thing is chock full of fiber. Oh, maybe more like that. Like a Kellogg Sanatorium, that is. This guy, molybdenum disulfide impregnated grease. The anvil, forged anvil, ground and polygonal machining, die cast aluminum hammer housing, a nice steel, solid steel bush. And they've gone through, not only have they ground it, but they've also added some slots for lubricating all metal gearbox beautifully machined three phase motor well, a, a brushless motor now why are we paying a premium for the branded tools that would have brushless motors because more power and they're higher techery and all that kind of thing this is 30 dollars and they got a brushless motor in there so 
who's <laughs> yeah I'll get the innards out have a proper go with the uh, get rid of the elect chickens auto asphyxi uh, auto auto erotic asphyxiation device here <laughs> just make sure that yeah a little bit of chooch left in the chotch there big capacitor on the control board nothing real crusty in here you'd think it'd just be rife with shrimp packets and okay looking at the pixie path here you got the knives the the terminal strips quite a bit thinner than the factory and quite a bit rougher on the electroplating just two wires in there and that's a glass fiber reinforced nylon there's no temperature sense lead to ride you astray in case the battery gets too hot you're just gonna cook her now this is interesting this is the three phase well this is the brushless motor controller no heat sinking at all you see this must be getting delivered direct from the factory or through some middleman that's got minimal markup a lot of times manufacturers in China are not licensed to export however they always have cronies or whoever that will export for them you can see made in 2019 either well last month which is when I ordered it or week 10 very likely week 10 but you see that's not sitting on a shelf for very long that's been lasered ablatively lasered or melted off there that's not an epoxy it's more like a silicone you can see the through hole vias and the heat sinking here through the, the back of the board and then it just sits in here stood off by these little posts the three MOSFETs and the well, the ground plane not much else you can really see the construction details are telling us that clearly this isn't the cheapest available because somebody's had to go in there hot snot that conductor uh, that ribbon cable in and then fiber taped it together keep it flat so it doesn't get pinched up in the clamshell when they're putting her together heat shrunk on the, yeah there was a lot of handwork after the fact in here now this is interesting we don't see this on high-end tools the switch if you have a look at it 42 volts 0.2 amps so 200 milliamps clearly this is not taking the entirety this is not breaking the circuit this is simply for instrumentation it's only for speed control so there'd be no MOSFETs there's no heat sinking or anything in here and there's no switching going on all there is is a potentiometer essentially telling it uh, how fast to go and then a forward reverse switch to tell it if you want it in forward or reverse so this kind of switch would last a lot, lot longer than one that's actually doing the, the, the switching, the full electrical switching. Perfect. We're starting, to, we're starting to see some corners cut. You'll notice there's no Hall effect sensors in order to determine the position of the rotor. What they're doing is they're extrapolating. They're not even worried about it. It's essentially open loop. That cheapens it up and then what appears to be milk jug recycled milk jug high density polyethylene which would not stand up but then uh, i get looking closer at it and it is glass fiber reinforced 50 percent uh, 6.6 .6, so nylon 6.6 .6 is really good at, at heat strange color to the insulation on the magnet wire a little bit more browny red and i don't know if that's because we got her good and hot or it's just a different compound altogether on the rotor itself not as good as we'd like to see like a deck of cards flapping in the breeze here you have a let me zoom right in here in macro I'll show you yeah that ain't great already starting to delam it seems to be just affixed by the injection of plastic that PA6 however the pinion gear it's not uh, metal injection molded or sintered metal or nothing like that it's actually been machined and hobbed you can tell by the turning <laughs> if you'd focus you fuck 
You can do it. There you go. You can tell by the turning marks. It's been turned on a lathe and then hobbed and rotary tumbled, taking all the hard edges off. There's no seal, however. Another little chink in the armor is there's no seal. I used that the right way, for God's sakes. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> there's, no, uh, there's no seal here because we can see there's already starting to get some grease coming into that outer bearing race. So it wouldn't be long before this would be all greased up. And you, don't, you want to keep the grease in where it's supposed to be and keep it out of where it's supposed to be. Back bearing here, this is interesting. The shaft, it's, it's proud of the shaft. Maybe just didn't get the right shaft length in order to uh, fit the housing. And that's just the way it is. That's clearly an oversight. Now we'll get into the gearbox now. This component, a not even a remotely scabby third shift out the back door style, despite the pricing. It's, that could be on any tool. That could be on a, you'd see that on a Hilti, that kind of quality. And this is beautiful. Look at this. On the Bosch, hey, on the Bosch, the outer ring gear was machined into the aluminum. Okay, so aluminum, not that great at being a gear. They've added cost on this guy by having it separate. So this would be either metal injection or, you know, pressed and centered together. What? Fuck me. Sideways. This thing's turning into a sore dick deal. Forged planet carrier. Copper coated die spring. Big forged hammer. Beefy dogs on there. I a nice big shaft. What for going into the hole on the anvil? This thing, uh, ah, damn. It's too bad I don't do affiliate links because I'd be a hundred air. Getting this together now and I, I, a problem is of course I see a sore dick deal and I pounce on it. Or I'm trying to be, a, well I'm not trying, I am a better person. So uh, I'm not much of a biblical scholar but I think stealing's probably not good and this is straight up all the trade markings and so it's essentially, well it's a knockoff, it is stealing even though it is a good Leviticus 19.11, uh, thou shalt not steal, nor deal falsely, nor lie with one another. Lie to one another. That's the Roman Catholic version. That's the problem with big quotes. They're open to interpretation. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to defer to a higher power. The man in black himself, Johnny Cash. Now, I never considered myself a thief, but GM wouldn't miss just this one little piece. I'm a little uh, shades of gray, a little bit conflicted about this, but there's no denying the build quality is there. Three back together. What do you think? Half a turn, fart, let the smoke out. I think I got her. Oh, oh. something pinched up in there. Although there is no pulse width modulated hum. Maybe fried the electronicals, but it is torquing up. Hmm. It just seized in there. Got her in sideways or something. Huh. Now that's pinched up in there. So clearly that's not the correct routing. Where else? Oh, up and around. Oh. 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 I get a bass Ackards. We gotta go all hell for a basement. Son of a. Just do like so. Like so. And then bottom side, top wise it. Huh? 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 She's gone full maximum overdrive. This thing just called me an asshole.
That's interesting. That's so bizarre because this is three phase. It needs to be pulsed. The, the MOSFET's got to be working in here. There's something funny going on on the control side. In the trigger. The trigger. I don't tell you it would give you no trouble at all. Fucking lion sack of shit. Son of a diddly. Well, there you go. Now uh, I don't got to worry about any moral objections or nothing like that because uh, she's dickered after the merest whiff of a hot supper. Well, maybe a little more than that, but hmm. It's very weird. Why would it, maybe it defaulted to its factory settings. That's why it ramps up slowly. In any case, she's not long for this world. Recall the Borscht. What the <laughs> ye of little faith said I'd never get back together. Plain and in the flesh minus the blue two three. Uh, maybe want to go forward on that one. Just thinking. Weird, man. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, busted the tip clean off of her. Look at this. Oh. Oh, yeah, she's fuckered proper. Hooped. It is a step in the right direction. Cut out the middleman, make it cheap and good. I mean, that, that's all a guy can ask for. Definitely warrants some more study. I'm gonna order another one of these, maybe in a different trade color or something like that. See, yeah, just see. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in advice.